Hey what's going on guys, Teddy Worthy here and welcome back to another Minecraft Learning tutorial for version 1.15. In this tutorial we're going to be going over something slightly different, so it is not a modding tutorial as such, but I am going to be keeping it in the series anyways. So this tutorial is going to be covering how you can upload your code to GitHub and uh, have a GitHub repository. Um, luckily this is very simple, um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go onto desktop.github.com and you're going to want to download um, for whatever comes up here. So for me it's Windows, but it might come up with Mac OS or um, the Linux one. So if you just click that, um, it will get the setup and you can run that. And once you have done that, we can go to GitHub Desktop, which should now be on our computer. And when we load this up, we should see my GitHub repositories. Um, but you're going to want to come over here on the left, and you're going to want to click Add and create a new repository. Now you're going to name this whatever you want your repository to be called. Um, so mine is going to be 1.15.2 tutorial mod. Um, and then you're going to want to um, add a description. If you want a description, I'm not going to worry about that. Um, and then the local path. So this is basically the path to your mod. So mine is. Uh, on my desktop, so uh, 1.15 tap mod is the name of mine, and I'm just going to select a folder, and there you go, that's the local path. Um, you can initialize it with a readme if you want, um, and the git ignore you can set that up if you want as well. Um, and a license if you know what license you want to choose you can choose that but none will just be uh, all rights reserved <coughs> and then you can just click create repository once you've done that you'll see a few things do come up um, like that so if we now uh, publish repository and just publish um, I've checked keep this code private, but if you want it to be public, um, you can do that. Um, I will make it public, and I'll show you how you can change that after this, because I didn't realize I chose private there. Okay, now if we view this on GitHub, it should have our files, um, but we will see. I don't think it will. Okay, no, it doesn't. <clears throat> but that's easy to fix. So first, I'm just going to show you how to make it public. So if you just go to settings, and uh, you can go to, I think, manage access, no, here it is, danger zone. So you can make this public. If I just click make public, you have to type in the name of the mod. Um, oh, actually, this whole thing. You didn't have to type in all of that before. There you go. And then I understand. <clears throat> Put in your password. And there we go, we now have a public repository. But obviously if you come on here, um, you see we don't have any files in here. We just have get attributes, which is a bit boring. So if we just go into our file explorer for a second. And I'm going to show you why uh, this isn't working. Because this is what most people think will work. So here is actually our issue. It, this, it thinks this is the um, folder. So that's actually not how um, it works, and you need to set that up slightly differently. So you need to make the folder this folder, and we should be able to change that back in GitHub. So let's see if we do options. No, we want this repository options, uh, repository repository settings um, no not that um, 
Okay, I'm just going to delete this repository for a second. Okay, just remove. And I'm going to set this up again. Um, so, it is rather complicated. Um, so, if we do add existing. Um, yeah, if we do add existing. So, add existing repository, we can choose. And choose that as our folder. And it will say, uh, blah, blah, uh, create a repository instead. And then it will set that up so it knows that's the local path. You can't change that. And then that's going to be the name uh, and a description. Uh, blah, blah. There we go. Blurry, blah, blah. Just blah, blah. And just create that. Now, all our files should be in there. And if we publish, um, let's uncheck that so we don't have to change that. I'm just going to come off that because that doesn't exist anymore. As you can see, it takes a bit longer this time because it's got to upload all the files. Um, and hopefully, we should see that if we view it on GitHub, we should have all our files in here. Just check. Yep, there you go. There's all our files. So you got this down here. Um, I'm going to change that README, but don't worry. Okay, so now if I'm going to show you what you need to do if you edit a file. So let me just close that. Um, I'm just going to restart GitHub Desktop. So we can get that update. Voila. Okay. So let's just fetch your origin to make sure nothing's changed okay right so let's go on eclipse real quick and i'm going to change a file so i'm just going to add um a space i'm not going to do anything else um i'm just going to add one space and i'm going to show you what you can do to get that first um box to get it set up. so i'm just going to change uh I just go in our main class where it doesn't matter as such. Once clips loads this, we should be able to do some things. Okay, so I'm just going to add a space right here. You can see it needs saving. So when you save it, some things should happen. Um. Let's just refresh this, see if it knows, okay, it doesn't look like it's updated to know, but if we go back onto here, you can see it says one changed file. Now, to actually update this, um, I'm just going to keep this as update tutorial mod, but if you have multiple files that you're changing, um, you might want a special name for this, like uh, blah. But I'm going to keep it as uh, update tutorial mod and a description is optional, of course. And then all you have to do is press commit to master. And that will bring you over here. And then you can push it to GitHub. So if you just push it to GitHub, it will overwrite the current file with that. There we go. So if we now view it on GitHub, it's going to be hard to see, but there will be a space there. So, um, wait, there you go. Update tutorial mod. If we go over to there, you can see the commit. Um, so if we actually go to that file, uh, browse files. Okay, source main, Java, tutorial mod. You can, should be able to see, yeah, you can see there is a space right there. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not going to show pulling because pulling from Git is slightly different. Um, and it's quite rare that you're actually going to want to do that. Um, but you can always edit on um, the GitHub um, if you, I don't know, you have to be on a branch, so... Yeah, no big issue. Um, you should be able to change the tree name as well. Um, 
but yeah so the link to this github will be in the description if i can find no not that one let me delete this one um settings you can just delete a repository quite simply down here there we go copy that because it should have already been on my clipboard pasted in there we go and boom that's that's it um yeah so that github will be in the description this right here this link will be in the description so you can copy um code from my github if you need to at any point uh, i'll update this after every episode i record so not actually when i publish it so if you want to see um the episodes in progress you always can um only if you know when i'm recording it though and because i record a few in a row um you might actually see a lot more code on here than uh what's been uploaded so that is just a, a little sneaky peek um currently there isn't anything on here so don't you know try check there's nothing special um but yeah that's now our github set up so you can do that with your mod um i would i would make sure you commit as much as you can so don't um you know commit once and then that be your only commit you'll want to do several commits so that uh you know if your mod kind of you know it's basically a backup for your mod really um whenever you commit you're just backing up your mod um so why not i mean it's pretty simple um so yeah, uh, if you do have any issues with any of the code, uh, you can obviously put them in here. Um, but I'd much prefer if you ask on my Discord rather than in here. Because I don't know if you get notifications for this or not. And I might as well star my own repository. Why not? Be sure to star my repository if you want to or watch it or whatever. I don't really care. Um, so yeah. Um, I will see you guys in our recipes video goodbye